Population momentum is a consequence of the demographic transition. Population momentum explains why a population will continue to grow even if the fertility rate declines. Population momentum occurs because it is not only the number of children per woman that determine population growth, but also the number of women in reproductive age. Eventually, when the fertility rate reaches the replacement rate and the population size of women in the reproductive age bracket stabilizes, the population achieves equilibrium and population momentum comes to an end. Population momentum is defined as the ratio of the size of the population at the new equilibrium level to the size of the initial population. Population momentum usually occurs in populations that are growing. Assume that a population has three generations, first, oldest, second, childbearing, and third, children. Further assume that this population has a fertility rate equal to four, four. That is, each generation is twice the size of the previous. If the population of the first generation is arbitrarily set at 100, the second is then 200, and the third is 400. The spreadsheet below shows the initial population in the first row. First note that the second and third generation of the initial population are each twice the size of the previous. The total of the initial population is 700 is equal to 100 plus 200 plus 400. Then assume that at the end of the third generation, fertility falls to replacement. For simplicity assume that to be 2. Now take the population forward in time to the next generation, line 2 of the spreadsheet. The first generation dies, and the new generation, the fourth, is equal to the third, because now fertility is replacement. Repeat the process again to reach the fifth generation, line 3 in the spreadsheet. The fifth generation is again equal to the fourth and now the population's three generations are equal, and the population has reached equilibrium. The initial population has grown from 700 to 1,200 even though fertility dropped from 4 to replacement, 2, at the end of the third generation. Population momentum carried the population to higher levels over the next two generations. Population momentum impacts the immediate birth and death rates in the population that determine the natural rate of growth. However, for the population to have an absolute zero amount of natural growth, the U.S. National Library of Medicine National Institutes of Health suggests that three things must occur. 1. Fertility rates must level off to the replacement rate. The net reproduction rate should be 1. If the fertility rate remains higher than the replacement rate, the population would continue to grow. 2. Mortality rate must stop declining. That is, it must remain constant. 3. Lastly, the A structure must adjust to the new rates of fertility and mortality. This last step takes the longest to complete. Population momentum has implications for population policy for a number of reasons. One, with respect to high fertility countries, for example in the developing world, the positive population momentum, meaning that the population is increasing, states that these countries will continue to grow despite large and rapid declines in fertility. Two, with respect to lowest low fertility countries, for example in Europe, a negative population momentum implies that these countries may experience population decline even if they try to increase their rate of fertility to the replacement rate of 2.1. For example, some Eastern European countries show a population shrinkage even if their birth rates recovered to replacement level. Population momentum can become negative if the fertility rate is under replacement level for a long period of time. 3. Population momentum shows that replacement level fertility is a long-term concept rather than an indication of current population growth rates. Depending on the extant age structure, a fertility rate of two children per woman may correspond to short-term growth or decline 0.4. Another implication of population momentum is its effect on the labor force, more specifically the distribution of the labor force 1. We established earlier that population momentum occurs when a population continues to grow despite the replacement fertility level being met, meaning that there are more children being born. When there are more children being birthed for the time being until the child is able to work they become dependents meaning that they don't do much to contribute to their society, which leads to an unfavorable dependency ratio. When the children reach the age to work the country's dependency ratio will change and become favorable. To calculate population momentum for population A, the theoretical population is constructed in which the birth rate for population A immediately becomes replacement level. Under such conditions, the population will eventually stabilize into a stationary population, with no year-to-year -year changes in age-specific rates or in total population. 
The population momentum is calculated by dividing this final total population number by the starting population. Momentum, omega, can be expressed as omega equals b e o q backslash display style backslash omega equals b underscore o q. In this equation, b is the crude birth rate while e o is the life expectancy at birth. Q is the total number of births per initial birth. Q equals 1 R mu R O 1 R O backslash display style Q equals 1 backslash over R backslash mu R underscore O dash 1 backslash over R underscore O. This equation is used to derive Q, total births per initial birth. R is the growth rate and is the unchanging population mean age at childbearing. Rho is the net reproduction rate of the non-changing population. Population momentum is typically caused by a shift in the country's demographic transition. When mortality rates drop, the young survive childhood and the aging population live longer. Fertility rates remain high, causing the overall population size to grow. According to population momentum, even if high fertility rates were immediately replaced with replacement level fertility rates, the population would continue to grow due to the pre-childbearing population entering childbearing years.